In today's video, we're gonna be setting up the best Bearded Dragon tank setup here on YouTube. A 75 gallon monster tank for my Bearded Dragon boss. Enjoy the video. everybody so in today's video this is one that I'm super excited one that we've been waiting for a very long time on this channel and it is right here to my right the 75 gallon bearded dragon enclosure that we're gonna be setting up for my bearded dragon boss and I'm gonna show you guys in just a second but check out how monstrous this tank is like if I lay down it's almost as big as me the camera does not do it justice this tank is a massive 75 gallons and it's a wide tank, which is which is crazy. This was very expensive. This whole project was expensive, but we're gonna get more into that in a little bit. But Boss is getting an upgrade. It's my bearded dragon I've had for like two and a half years now. And if you guys are a fan of the channel and all my animals, Boss is one of the like mascots of the channel. So he's getting a big upgrade. Super excited for it. Let's begin. This is our boy, Boss the Bearded Dragon. He is honestly one of the coolest bearded dragons in the world and on YouTube. And he's just a really special part of the channel, guys. You all love him. He's an amazing bearded dragon. We've made a ton of videos about him. Here's a few of them on the screen right now. It's time for his adult life upgrade. And the guy said a 75 wide is a great, you know, final tank for a bearded dragon. But maybe we'll end up going bigger. But honestly, for like a normal house, this tank is huge like this is kind of hard to place like in a normal house like it like my house is like a two bedroom is what I mean by like normal house we had to rearrange so many things just to get this tank here and it worked out well but I don't know big tanks are very hard to set up all right so I'm just gonna put him in here for a second just to check out like look at the comparison guys he's gonna have so much room in this tank all right tank setup done that's it thank you guys so much for watching be sure to I'm just joking. This tank alone, how much do you think it was, Chris? 200! It was about, it was about 190, 180 bucks. All right, so just to give you guys an idea, this tank is a 75 wide, like I just said, and this is his old tank that we moved out here for just a temporary amount of time. This is a 40 wide. So this is what he's been in for about a year. The vision board. The vision board? Just, uh, I'll have my editor blur out my vision board. Uh, I'm into vision boards now, guys. You know, I want things in life, I write it down. That's how it works. Or so I'm told. But anyways, and a lot of you guys say, like in all my Bearded Dragon videos, that you absolutely love this stand. And this is a one-of-a-kind piece. I think it's super cool. This has just been in my family for like the longest time, this stand. And it honestly just works out perfectly, like for a bearded dragon tank especially. Look at him chilling. Whenever I take him out, he I actually like put him on this stand for a little bit and he just like climbs up it. And it's really cool, he loves it. Before we get into setting up this monstrosity of a tank, this is gonna be the most beautiful tank setup that I've ever personally set up on this channel. Super excited for it, like I said. And if you guys wanna purchase any products in this video, just a quick little look but I'm gonna get more in depth of what these things are. Every single product is gonna be listed in the descriptions down below if you wanna do this exact same tank setup. Literally just go down there, click it, it'll take you right to the product. Okay, so the first thing we are gonna be putting in this tank is this beautiful piece of tile. Throughout setting up all of my Bearded Dragon tank setup from when I first got boss, throughout the years I've done maybe like five setups. I've done the sand, I've done sand mats, I've done the carpet. All the amazing bearded dragon tank setups that I see on YouTube, they have tile in the tanks, especially for like the adult beardies when, they're, when they do like their final tank setup. Cause it is a little bit more pricey and to get it like cut to the certain dimension, we did that today actually, it was a little pricey as well. But this is gonna be the centerpiece of this enclosure. It's gonna go right in the middle of the tank and we picked this one out specifically because <laughs> Rolling Stones! <laughs> <laughs> I seen him in concert back in 85. <laughs> <laughs> American Tour, 1975. Best year, bro, Rolling Stones, yeah! <laughs> we could have went with like very cheap tile, very standard looking tile, but this caught my eye because I want this to be the centerpiece and it matches the color of my wall. 
So we're gonna get this in right now. I wanna show you guys what it looks like. And we literally just came back from the tile place that cut this because it wouldn't fit. Oh, tank shatters. <laughs> but this is gonna be the center of the tank right here. This huge piece of tile. Take a step back and look at it actually because from far back it doesn't look big, but this almost takes up the whole tank. This is literally the whole middle of the tank is this piece of tile. And what we're gonna do is just put a little bit of desert sand, just a little bit on the outsides just to cover the glass, but the main substrate is this piece of tile. The reason I did black as well is because it's gonna match the wall. It's just gonna pop so well with the wood sand, the black sand, and this beautiful piece of tile. We're gonna start with the desert sand right here, guys. I wanna see how my vision actually played out. If it if it's gonna look good. Wait, 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 what about my idea? We put that in first. What's no? your idea? Your idea got <laughs> thrown in the garbage, burned, and your your idea is gone, my friend. That's it. I thought you were gonna keep going. <laughs> I needed to keep it PG. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh baby. We need to make sure this is evenly distributed as well because this stand is not big enough for the 75 gallon, but we made it work. Wow, this actually looks so dang cool, man. We might have only needed one bag. I bought two bags just in case, but I'll keep the second bag. Right now, we're just moving the sand around throughout the tank where there's glass. But like I said, the main... I haven't filmed in a while, all right, bro? I'm going to stutter a little bit. By the way, guys, I haven't uploaded in three weeks. My bad for that. But I have been uploading on my second channel, Casual Pro Pets, where I actually did a behind-the-scenes like type video of this one that you guys are watching right now, where we went to the store, got the tile, got it cut, and I revealed the tank before this video. So if you guys want to watch like in like more in depth stuff, more conversation, more like informative videos where this is more like entertainment, go over to my second channel, Casual Pro Pets, subscribe over there. I'm uploading pretty consistent because I'm editing those videos and I have an editor for this channel. But anyways, this video there is gonna be talking because this is kind of informative. Like I'm setting up a 75 gallon bearded dragon tank and I wanna explain to you guys what I'm doing. So obviously I'm gonna be doing more talking, but normally I'm saving that for my second channel, Casual Pro Pets. So if you guys enjoy that type of stuff, go over there, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. We're setting up the coolest bearded dragon tank on YouTube right now. So be sure to like this video and subscribe if you guys are new down below. It'll mean a lot. Oh, boss took a dump down there. Real nice, boss. Well, I'm setting up your tank. You gotta use the bathroom? Not cool, bro. It's all right. We'll clean it up after. Wow, this is actually coming out so incredible. Remember, guys, links in the description for every single product that we are using today. And like I said, while I have the camera for a second, he's really not gonna ever go on this sand because this piece is gonna be on this side on top of the sand and his branch where he actually is gonna be basking is gonna be on top of the sand as well. So it's gonna take up all this portion of the sand and where he's gonna be running around and stuff where his water dishes and his feeding dish is gonna be on this piece of tile. He's really never gonna run around on this sand. It's gonna be covered. It's really just more like aesthetic purposes. Like it's just gonna look really nice. Right? Yeah! Now give me back my camera. So do you think we need that other bag or are we good? Well, you take a few. Take a few around. Like, You're saying this side needs more. Well, look, I think that's good for now. Yeah? Yeah. And this is his favorite basking log right here. Just like that. Nice, right? How's it look right there? Nice? Mm -hmm. Just to show you guys with the basking area right here is that he's really never going to be on the sand. He's going to jump from up here probably. Like most likely all the time he's going to jump from over here to up here. He's never really going to be on the sand. And his feeding dish is going to be over here. So like I said, that's not really the substrate. That just complements this tile, which is the main substrate of this tank. Okay, so we have the basking area in. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna get this out of the way as well. This is gonna be like, just another little area where he can climb up on. I got this at PetSmart like a while back, and it's a nice little piece. Okay, so this is kind of coming over onto the tile right here. I like this, but I don't know if I like it that much to go in this tank. It kind of doesn't flow with everything, so we might not be using that, actually. I'm really not a big fan of this. It kind of takes up too much of the tank. What I think I'm going to do is I'll get some, like, more branches and stuff. And maybe I'll build, like, a little, like, playground over here or something. Maybe, oh, you know what would be sick? I can go get a hammock for them. You get a big hammock where you can chill out on his cool side. Just relax, chill on the hammock. I think that would be actually so cool. Where is this guy? Oh. He doesn't even need a tank so he just needs to vibe out on the room just on that okay moving on to this right here the compact topped 
Terranium Canopy. 5,000 Flaction Jackson Waxen. <laughs> <laughs> what? So this is a medium right here, which you can use three bulbs, but we got two because that's what the guy suggested. We got a big one and a small one. These things were not cheap, guys. $21.99 for this little thing right here and $29.99 for this guy right here. Like I said, I put a lot of money into this tank setup, guys. So if all you could do is go down below, hit the thumbs up. Don't make me a happy guy. I also make Boss a happy bearded dragon as well. Okay, so I've never set this up, but this is supposedly amazing for reptiles because it disperses the UVB throughout the whole tank, whereas the bulb literally just hits in that one spot. This is gonna shine UVB throughout the whole tank. It's gonna be amazing, very healthy for the reptiles. I'm super excited for Boss to finally get hit with some UVB rays. This baby is nice, guys. This is from Exoterra right here. You can chill on my shoulder for the video, yeah? Go right over here, all right, buddy? We're gonna vibe that. We're gonna set up your UVB thingamajiggy lickigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigig
nice fat hornworm that's not really moving a lot. Maybe the light's freaking them out a little bit. Put them right here. <laughs> Come on, boss. You're not going to eat this on camera. You love these. Look at him. He wants you to eat them. <laughs> He's a little camera shy right now. You licked it. He lives another day. Take him off because we don't want him to jump off. But it's crazy. If you guys have ever bought those wax worms, you literally buy them in the store like that big. In three days, they get monstrous just like that. It's actually crazy. All right, so now we added the finishing touches. We put the bulbs in. We got all this. I had to rearrange a little bit because my outlet is underneath my bed. And his hot side is now on this side with his branch right here. So it's going to be kind of cool because I'm going to be laying in bed right here. He's going to be chilling right here. I get to turn over and say, yo, good night, boss. And he's going to say, yo, good night, Cash. And that's that. And live happily ever after. <laughs> All right, so now, without further ado, are you ready for your new tank setup? And before we put him in, like I said, he's been in that 40 for about a year and a half. He was doing great, but I could tell in the past few weeks, he hasn't been eating as much. And it's time for an upgrade. You know, I could literally, it's my bearded dragon. I could, I know his, you know, his actions and... You know, I've just, I've been with this lizard for like almost three years now. So I could tell something was wrong. That's why I had to go out of my way, get this upgrade. You know, because sometimes you could, you just got to tell from your reptile. You know what I mean? Obviously, I could tell he was a little unhappy. So I did it. And I said, you know, we're spending the money on him. Getting this awesome tank set up. And I just know that he's going to live a way better life in this. So now, without further ado, Boss the Bearded Dragon. The coolest bearded dragon on YouTube. Are you ready for your tank setup? Your new home, where you're gonna get nice and girthy, nice and fat. All right here we go. Actually, I need two hands for this. <laughs> we really didn't think this through. Here you go, boss. We'll put them on the sand for just a second. And now, three, two, one. Cha cha, ching. Oh yeah. <laughs> Chris, does he like it? <laughs> No, like I said, it's a very big tank. You guys have to remember, the stuff that we had came from a 40 gallon, so obviously there's a whole extra 40, 50, 60, 70, 35 gallons. A whole extra 35 gallons in here. That's why this stuff looks, it looks small compared to this tank. You guys gotta remember, this thing is a monster. Look, look at how big my wall is to my bed. Has to be at least eight feet. Would you say about maybe six, seven feet? This thing almost takes up all of that room. If I lay down, I'm gonna lay down real quick. Into the shit. I'm six foot two. All right, so I'm laying down from the wall to this. <laughs> just, oh, it just <laughs> crushes me. <laughs> so how big would you say it is? <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> just get, just throw out any number, please. I just want to get up. Eight? <laughs> all right, thank you. <laughs> that we wanted to hear. <laughs> Jay, Jay, that what you wanted to hear. <laughs> Oh, look, he's moving around a little bit, Chris. Look. <laughs> <laughs> look, bro. <laughs> all right. Now he's not moving. No, all right. So I'll take it over the camera for a little bit. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Chris, what do you honestly think about it? Oh. Yep. Oh, he's on the prowl now. Chris and I are dying mm -hmm. laughing right now because I told him to get montage clips of Boss. And while he was doing that, I tossed a worm into the into the feeding dish, but it looked like a it dropped out of the heavens. Like and now it's in like a sacrificial dish or something. I don't know. It was just, it was just funny in the moment. Like, but you literally just saw on camera the worm just <laughs> drop it. Oh, oh, you you might get it. Oh, a camera, camera. Are you getting this? <laughs> Come on. Oh, it's just moving so much. He's gonna get it. All right, guys, we got we got we got a wild bearded dragon boss. He has a very unique personality. Right when that camera goes on, he goes stealth. Should we try the pinky? Put him on the the dish of sacrifice. The pinky. Oh, he yeah, oh, he looked. He heard it. He knew what the pinky. All right, so come up to Annie a bit. All right. Viewer discretion advised. Okay, so obviously he's gonna be inspecting his tank. Like I just said, he was in that 40 gallon wide for about a year and a half. So obviously from that to this, it's a major upgrade. 
any reptile you upgrade to, like you upgrade tanks, they're they're a little weirded out at first. I, I wouldn't say he's stressed out, but some animals do get stressed out. He's obviously just exploring his new home. It's totally normal. It's like us. If we go into a new place, we're going to check it out, look around for a bit. And obviously he doesn't want to be bothered. You know, he's just vibing out, chilling. So, and like I said as well, everything that's in here is from his previous home. So very soon on my second channel, I'm going to go to the store, get a bunch of supplies for him as well. But this is like the standard setup. You don't want to overdo it. Oh, we might be going for it right now. It's literally right when we <laughs> just stepped on it. He just kicked it to the curb. He doesn't want anything to do with it. He just wants to explore his home. That's it. And believe it or not, guys, this poor little thing. He wants to be eaten. Oh, he's going to go on his hide. Oh, no, look, he's going to go on his basking area now. Now he's going to get some nice... Nice, chill heat. You're like, that doesn't make sense, chill heat? He's gonna get some nice heat now. Look, there he goes. I am a proud daddy today, I can tell you that. How you doing in there, boss? You chilling, dog? 1975. All right, so all together, this whole tank setup with everything that I got, the lights, the actual tank, the piece of tile, the substrate, the sand, the this, the that, probably cost me around 300 and $50. I will say. Yeah, I'll say 350 bucks. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, guys, if you do have the space for the tanks in your house, a lot of people, they start off with 10 gallons, obviously, if you have a baby. If I could do it all over again, I would have just started with this right away because then you don't have to go through the extra steps of getting the 10, getting the 20, getting the 40 gallon. You save a bunch of money. I probably spent over a thousand dollars, maybe even more on just stuff for bearded dragons. That's not even including my other reptiles. So just a little advice, if you have the space for it, just go all out the first time. You won't regret it. You'll have everything already. But that's pretty much it. Like I said, the only thing I think we need in this tank is a hammock from right here. And honestly, maybe just a, a little hide in case he gets stressed out, he wants to hide. Less is more with this tank. We want it to look aesthetically pleasing in my bedroom. You know, you're gonna walk in the room. This is gonna be the first thing you're gonna see. It's the centerpiece. And even when I'm streaming live on Twitch, my whole streaming setup is right there. This is gonna be the background now. Boss the bearded dragon. Less is more. We don't want him to be crowded and stressed out. We want it to be a nice open space for him to get big and just live his life as a bearded dragon. The next day. What's up guys? So it is day number two and the tank was a little empty like we were saying yesterday. And today I went out and I just got the hammock for Boss the Bearded Dragon. And now the tank is looking way more complete. And I also got this little piece of decor right here. It just matches the sand. It's really nice. We're going to see how he likes it in the next upcoming days. But I actually, I want to get him to the hammock over here. That's why I put one of the wax worms up there. So... Plus, I am trying to bulk him up a little bit. So I want to put one right here. Oh, look, he's going to see this one. All right. There you go, buddy. He loves those. Now, we're going to put the final one that's up here. We're just going to hang it down. This tank came out so amazing. Ew, a little guts got on his lip. He's saving that for later. Hopefully, he sees the one right up there. Oh, I think he's going to see it because he's wiggling around. We're gonna leave this one up here as a little treat for when he actually does find the hammock. Oh, he's exploring over here. I really want him to jump up on top. Ah, oh, sick, he went underneath that. That's so cool. Right now he just wants to chill up in his basking spot, but I think tonight when I show off the lights, because yesterday he did sleep over here, he is gonna find the hammock and his nice little treat. That's up top as well. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much. Shout out goes to this person right here. We just upgraded Boss the Bearded Dragon. And if you guys did make it this far, in the comments say hashtag Boss the Bearded Dragon so I could heart your comment and I know that you made it this far. We're gonna be getting his other stuff for this tank very soon on my second channel, Casual Pro Pets. Check out all the links in the description, guys. I love you all so much. Our channel is growing really fast now. We're almost at 14,000 subs, and then we're at 15,000, and then it's the road to like, what would you say? What, what's the next big milestone after like 15, 25 or 50? Person came to my head, 50. 50, yeah. We're on the road to 50,000 subs, guys, and honestly, I think we could do it this year. So, boss, you have anything left to say, my guy? His camera shy still. All right, we gotta go to the gym and get swole. That's pretty much it. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!
<laughs> you can see him. Oh! <laughs> Alright.